can't do any and anything and say, me no matter how it affects the next person. I can tear down your family, but I say, it don't no matter. From God accept me and me can worship. Everything is all right. That conscience, they dead. Something wrong with that conscience. I'm talking about our regulator. Tell the person, watch your regulator. Watch your regulator. You can't maintain a clear conscience. You cannot regulate. You cannot maintain a relationship with God unless you watch your regulator. So there are people in the church that will have a weak conscience. If you talk too loud to them, they will be offended. Amen, church. Hell, that's who let you go home. Amen, church. Who let you go home? If you talk too, too, too hard to them, they will be offended. You cannot say you don't care about those people. It no matter if me out. God give me and we can talk anyhow. Something wrong. Amen, church. Because those persons, many persons, have a weak conscience. The Lord said, if you're going to eat meat and you know it offends your brother, no brother eat it. Nothing wrong with the meat. But because when the brother is around you, it's going to affect the brother. The Lord use meat. Amen? It's going to affect the brother. Don't say, well, I feel my stomach and I feel my mouth. I'm going to eat it. Come on. You know, matter what Sister Kedi and do. You know, matter for her business. If she don't want it, she get up and left the table. No! You are going to sin for it. Amen, church of the living God. Amen, church. It's better you order something else that the person can palatably take care of it. Amen? And the person is enjoying it with you. Can I get a witness? Amen, church. Then you do what you do and you leave the person to be there being pained up and wondering what's happening. Amen, church. We have to watch. I was saying it this morning, our relationship. Amen, church. Amen. Amen. The Lord speaks so much about offending in the body. Because many, some of us not, not get a hold of it, brethren. Amen. Amen, church. And if you don't find that when you say something and somehow you just do what you feel and there's no regulating instrument, you're not feeling nothing. Something is wrong. Your conscience is in a coma. Said God, I acknowledge my transgression and the sin is always before me. Lord, purge me. We must care, reach over to somebody and say we must care about each other. Come on, church of the living God. We must care about each other. And I said it this morning. Sister Kenan, there's no way you can buck your toe and the next foot say, I don't care. And the brains and the hands say, I don't business with me too, with your toe. Once you buck your toe, the brain, everything, the hand I go reach for it. The hand is never in a malice with any part of the body. Can I get a weakness? You know what? The, the body of Christ, no, the hand no keep malice. The brain no keep malice. Uh, the lungs don't keep malice. So how do we keep it? Help me hear Jesus. Help me hear. Help me hear Jesus. Uh, amen. Brethren, I try to make it as simple as we can. I hope we understand what I'm saying. Because if you're not affected by the word of God, your, your, your conscience is in a coma. A dead, you are dead. Oh, somebody help me here. And that's why when the Lord give you the Holy Ghost, he purge your conscience uh, from dead works. From what? Uh, dead works. Uh, the works of the flesh. All I do is God purge it. That's why it's difficult uh, for a church. Uh, Person who is a 
a true child of God to constantly live in a sin. We will fall. But we are going to get up. Can I get a weakness? Something is going to agitate you. Amen. To say, no, you can't stay down there. Amen, church. Amen. And we as a church cannot accommodate that type of sinful habit because the conscience is going to lead you right down. Obscure, dead, to the point where you don't even know when you do wrong and when you do right. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus.